Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna do a get ready with me today. I've got a few new products I wanna try out and I also wanna show you guys a few products that I just absolutely love that I feel like I have not given as much love as they deserve. So yeah, I'm just gonna start doing some stuff and let's just see how we go. It might be an absolute mess or it might be great, who knows. But anyway, I'm going to start off. I've already applied my primer. So I use the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. And I just let that sit in my skin or like sink into my skin so it's not so wet. Um, and I'm just going to move on to foundation. So you guys have heard me talk so much about the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. It feels like I use this foundation at least like, like a few times a week if I'm wearing makeup. So I recently did pick up this foundation here. It is the Light Wonder Foundation from Charlotte Tilbury, if it wants to focus. Hello? There we go, the Light Wonder Foundation. So I might actually mix both of these together just to see how it goes. I haven't done this before. I don't even know if it'll be the right color, but I think it'll be nice, light, and fresh. This has like a really, really nice, like luminous look to it. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do first? I'm going to grab my Wonder Glow, which is kind of like the complementing primer to this. And I want to apply this like on top. Normally I don't use like both like layered, but because I've given the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base some time to actually sink into my skin, I think it might be good to just add this on top. So I'm just going to do a few stripes across my face. Because the packaging looks like similar, I need to make sure that I'm using the right one. I'm just going to rub that into my skin. You can see that it gives like a beautiful glow to the skin. Okay, so I have my Light Wonder in the shade 6 Medium. To be honest, I might pick up another one in a darker shade if I like this. But I'm just going to grab a little bit of that one. And I'm just going to put that in the palm of my hand like that much. Sorry about my fake tan. It's really, um, it's weird. Okay, it's weird. And I'm just going to take a little bit of my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation as well. I honestly feel like Charlotte Tilbury is the queen of base products. Like, I love... You know what? I'm going to zoom you guys in. Hopefully that's a bit better and you can see a bit more. Um, but yeah, honestly, Charlotte Tilbury, I feel like she is just the absolute queen of base products. I just love how they look on my skin. I'm just going to use my Real Techniques. I don't even know what this is called. This is so old. But I'm just going to use that and just apply that on my face. And yeah, like honestly, I don't know why I didn't start using Charlotte Tilbury earlier. Well, actually, I know exactly why. Her stuff is so expensive. But honestly, so worth the money. Like because I'm so happy with the products, it makes me not want to like dabble into anything else. So I feel like I'm actually saving money. Like even though I'm spending more on the products, it makes me not like have the urge to be like, oh my God, what's the new best? Like this and that, you know, I just buy everything Charlotte Tilbury these days. Like I don't remember the last time I bought something that wasn't Charlotte Tilbury. Actually, I like, I bought a by Terry, like that sunny flash, CC thing. I bought that the other day because I saw that on sale. But besides that, I don't think that I have bought like a non Charlotte Tilbury product in what seems to be like months, if not like a good portion of the year. But yeah, I found a whole bunch of um, like my bridal makeup trial videos on my camera that I did not edit because honestly, it just it just turned into an absolute mess of like a a mess of a time. Let's just put it that way. It turned into a mess of a time. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to edit those and upload them or not. But if I do, then that's why they're out of order. I might upload them just for the memories, but I'll see. Lockdown happened and I didn't know if I was going to get married or not. I feel like I talked about that in a few of my bridal trial videos. And then all of a sudden... It seemed like restrictions were lifting, so we were full steam ahead with our wedding. Got married, went on our honeymoon, and then as soon as we got home, Omicron blew out of control. Who knew? But whatever. I'm so happy. It was the most beautiful day 
if you follow me on social media you'll probably see like a few photos and stuff but yeah it was honestly amazing and i'm looking at my skin and i really really love how this foundation like combo looks don't get me wrong i love the airbrush flawless on its own but when it's mixed with products as well it just works so well it's probably not like the best match but hopefully it will kind of like mesh together perks of having long hair you can kind of just like blend your hair down like you can put your hair down and it kind of all diffuses and looks like one um but yeah i really really like how this looks i really do want to get into like lighter coverage foundations like i do want to give it a go because i don't know like for day to day i don't want to look like i'm wearing like heavy makeup like i have been i don't know but yeah really quite like this so far it's a really really good mixer and it's giving such a nice like illumination to the skin I'm really, really weird, okay? But this is the Laneige Lip Balm. This is the Leap Laneige Lip Treatment Balm. Okay, when it's new, I do this. Like, I know this is so weird, but I literally just put my lip in here. It's probably the weirdest thing. And yes, it's got an applicator, but mine fell on the floor, so I don't want to use it anymore. And I did disinfect it and stuff, but just the memory of it falling on the floor, and it wasn't at home, it was in a hotel, falling on the floor freaks me out so i don't use that anymore but once i get deeper into this pot i will have to start using my finger but while i don't have to i'm just gonna do that you know what besides the base because the base on my honeymoon i used obviously the charlotte tilbury but i either mixed it with my nars natural radiant foundation i almost called this all day luminous does anyone remember that foundation that used to be the greatest but yeah the nars natural radiant i used to either mix it with this or on my honeymoon i was mixing it with the dior forever skin glow um i don't have that near me so i can't show you but yeah i absolutely love them but i do quite like how this looks as well this is really really nice but you know what? I'm going to show you the look that I was doing pretty much my whole honeymoon. So besides the base, I kind of like filled you guys in on what I did. I'm just going to keep moving. So, so I'm just going to correct my under eyes. I'm just going to maybe use this shade up the top here. Sometimes depending on how I was going, I was using this shade or sometimes I was mixing it with like the shades down here. I'm just going to use like the shade on its own today. I'm just going to pat that underneath my eye. You know what I really should use again is the Bobbi Brown Corrector in Peach. I used to use that like every day. And that was rare for me. Like if you love makeup and you have a lot of makeup, you know, like it's hard to use the same product every single day. So you must truly love it if you use it that consistently. And that was me with Bobbi Brown Peach. I really need to start using that again and see if I like it compared to this. I think I stopped using that because this was just a lot more creamy and a lot more versatile. So for my honeymoon, we didn't do like the normal, typical, like beach, relax type of thing. Yeah, we didn't do like the typical honeymoon. We did road trip the whole thing. We literally, because our wedding was such a mess, like we had to pretty much replan everything in like six weeks. It was an absolute mess. Um because we literally spent all of our spare time planning our wedding, we had no time to plan our honeymoon. So we literally just knew that we were getting in the car and driving. So yeah, that was great, but it was so amazing. But yeah, so we didn't have like a typical beach holiday. So this is like probably like more makeup than what other like honeymooners wear. I don't know, but this is what I wore. Okay. Besides the base. Now, literally, depending on how I felt, I either use the Tarte Shape Tape or I use the NARS. Um, I love both. I'm just going to use NARS today. This is NARS Custard. I did bring both, and honestly, there was no real reason why I picked one or the other. Sometimes I would wear both. But yeah, I'm just going to apply that underneath my eyes and then just bring it down the center just a little bit. And then just blending that underneath my eyes with a beauty blender. Some days I did use the Fenty Eye Base. I don't have that here with me at the moment, so I can't use that. But that honestly, like, it kept my eyeshadows in place, like, all day. It was great. And I absolutely swear by that stuff. Like, it is so good. And then I just bring it onto my eyelids. This is probably stuff that you've seen me do, like, a million times before. But that's okay just want to keep it authentic and I just want to keep it like I want to keep like a memory for me 
and then whatever's left over I just kind of like pat it on my chin and on my forehead as well and then a little bit down my nose so I'm just going to set my face with my Beauty Bakery Flower Setting Powder in the shade Oat Translucent. This, honestly, was so good. I'm just going to grab a little bit on my brush and then just place that underneath my eyes. But yeah, so pretty much for the honeymoon, because we were road tripping, my biggest thing was just making sure that I kind of like looked like myself. So I, I don't know, like I kind of feel like this is now like my new like everyday makeup routine. Obviously, like if I was going out somewhere like at nighttime and stuff, I kind of changed it up, kind of like added a bit more color to like the eyelids and like that type of thing. But for the most part, it pretty much stayed like like this. And then I am going to set the rest of my face as well. I personally just love setting my whole face. I know some people like to just set targeted areas of their face, but me, I just love setting my whole face. So at least then if I'm putting on bronzer or anything like that, it like, I don't know, it just doesn't cling to like any wet patches or anything like that. I'm going to do my brows off camera. It's pretty much the same thing that I've done for the last like what seems to be five, ten years. I don't know, but it's just a brow pomade and like a normal brush with like a spoolie on the end. So I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back. Okay, don't mind my brows. I don't know why, but this one is very arch today, but we're just gonna go with it. It is what it is, let's just keep moving. So I'm gonna continue on and go with bronzer. So I'm gonna be using my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. Absolutely love this bronzer forever. Like honestly, I will love this bronzer. Just gonna run whatever's left over like on my forehead and then because I did do a lot of eating over the honeymoon period I'm just going to put a lot of bronzer under my chin <laughs> now I'm just going to take a little bit of my Charlotte Tilbury like a bronzer and I'm just on the same brush I'm just going to slightly higher than where I put the milk chocolate I'm just going to apply that so it just looks like I've got a bit of warmth to the skin kind of like as a base for my like what do you call it for a base for my blush and then I'm just going to do a little bit on the forehead a little bit more noticeable and then for blush I kind of just like fluctuated between a few but I'm going to use love glow today and I'm just going to use it on the same brush and then I just kind of like pat it like all around in the middle, all that type of thing. And then just put that on my cheeks. And you can see how that gives like a beautiful highlighted look. If I use this blush, I wouldn't really like go in with a highlighter on top. And then just a tiny bit on my nose, a little bit on my chin, a little bit on the forehead, literally just whatever's left over. I don't dip in extra or anything like that. And then to be honest, for base, that would pretty much be done. Sorry that my bronzer looks a little bit jacked today. Depending on how I felt that day, I would also go in with my Charlotte Tilbury Bronze and Sculpt, just with the Sculpt shade, and then I would just emphasize. And I was all for using literally like the same brush, like bronzer, blush, like that type of thing. It would either be this brush here, which I don't even know what it's called because there's no name on it. Literally no name, what the hell? I'm pretty sure I picked this up at iMats one year but it's honestly one of my most used brushes. And then because I would be taking some photos, I would take my Zoeva face, Lux face paint brush. I wouldn't do this all the time, but when I had the time, I would do it. And then just on top and underneath, just to provide a little bit of definition for my nose. And then I'd kind of try and let it like blend into the eye socket as well. Well, hopefully you can see my eyes a bit better now that I've zoomed you guys in. Sorry, I'm using a new camera, so hopefully it is okay. Um, I'm just going to use a little bit of my Too Faced Milk Chocolate, and I'm just going to use this Lux Soft Crease Brush, and I'm just going to run that through the socket of my eye, kind of like as my first, my first color, pretty much. And then again, on the other eye, I literally just run it through like the socket of my eye, and then I'm just going to take the sculpt side of the Charlotte Tilbury just on the same brush. And I'm just going to put that pretty much everywhere that I just put that last shade. 
and then just again on the other side. Now some days I'll leave it there for eyeshadow and then some days I would apply like a little bit of like a shimmer on the lid and stuff. Um, a lot of the times I would use my Charlotte Tilbury like the highlighter shade. And then I also did pack my Charlotte Tilbury palette. This is the Super Nudes Easy Eye Palette. So sometimes I would go in with just like maybe like one or two of these colors here on this side. I really use this side, which is actually very surprising to me. Um, but yeah, I would sometimes go in with a little bit of that to kind of like add a bit of definition. Or if I really wanted to, like out of this side of the palette, I would sometimes use this one like all over the lid. So I will just grab it on my finger and then just press it on. And to be honest, like sometimes that's all I could do because I was running out of time. Now, depending on how I feel like on the day, I would either use like a Charlotte Tilbury classic brown eyeliner or I would use the Pillow Talk eyeliner. This one is a little bit more of like a red toned pink kind of color, which I know it sounds really strange, but it actually looks really, really nice on my eyes. And if you do have like any hint of green in your eyes, it really brings it out. So I'm just going to line my lower lash line with this, or oh, sorry, like my waterline, and then whatever goes onto like the lower part, I just, I've just been rocking it. So you can see that it does give like a little bit of like a red tone, but I've just been really liking how it's just been defining my eye. And then just the tiniest bit in the lash line. I'm just going to curl my lashes and then I wouldn't wear fake lashes every day. But especially when we were in like the city and stuff, I did try to, like if we had a bit more time. Not because like I felt like I had to, but just because like I genuinely just love makeup, you know? And I do feel like lashes on me is kind of like my look. Um, the days that I would wear lashes, I would either use the Charlotte Tilbury brown eyeliner and draw a line, or I would use a liquid liner. So I'm just going to use my KBD Beauty liquid eyeliner. I'm just going to draw a line. On the honeymoon, I did pack two mascaras, and honestly, this one... Okay, this is probably my least favorite product from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Push Up... Oh, sorry. Pillow, Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes Mascara. Oh my god, this is terrible. Like, I had to buy another mascara to use in conjunction with my MCO Beauty one. Um, so I ended up picking up the Sky High. This is great. Like, if you're tossing up on whether you should get this or not, honestly, this is great. This one, oh my goodness, I'm going to use it today just because it hurts my soul how much I paid for this. But it's just so clumpy and it does nothing. Like, hello? Like, it's okay. And oh my god, for the people who come at me like, oh, you need to twist the brush. Oh no, girlfriend. It was an absolute mess when I did that. So I'm not doing that again. But I am just going to lightly coat my lashes in mascara. Because I'm not going anywhere today. I'm not going to put my MCO Beauty over the top. But normally what I do is I always use the MCO Beauty to seal my lashes in. That side you can kind of see slightly more. And like I don't feel like I have short lashes. Like I don't have like Lauren Curtis lashes or anything like that. But my lashes aren't short. So it's like why can I not see them? But anyway. I am going to apply my MCO Beauty on my lower lashes though. Hi, welcome back. Okay, long story short, my camera died and it was just an absolute mess, okay? I had to change cameras, so if it looks different, that's why. This camera, I don't have the fancy like autofocus and stuff, so I won't be showing you close-ups of anything else. But I'm going to stick on my lashes. Um, these are new lashes, I didn't wear these on the honeymoon. I was wearing my Model Rock I think they were fluffy vibes, I think. Um, I packed a whole bunch, but those were the ones that I leaned towards the most um, over the trip. But I just have these ones open at the moment. So I'm just going to keep using these because I don't want to waste a pair of lashes. Um, these are the Model Rock Silk 11s. Oh my gosh, yay. I actually got one eye on. Oh, such a relief. Okay, both lashes are on. Good enough. Um, I love like super fluffy wispy lashes. I don't think that they look like the same. I definitely do prefer how this eye looks, but it feels like that's always with me. Like with um, 
like the thicker band lashes they never look the same one eye always looks different to the other eye um, but I really do quite like how these look even though they don't look the same whatsoever like these ones look a lot more like how they do in the packet while these ones are like yeah I don't know anyway it does not matter because these lashes are a bit more intense, I am going to add a little bit of shadow to the lower lash line. I did do this a little bit on the honeymoon, but not a whole bunch. I only did it the days that I felt like I needed it or when I felt like the lashes that I had on kind of were like very, very top heavy. So I'm just going to go in with my Charlotte Tilbury palette and I'm just going to use maybe a little bit of this shade on the end. And then if I need to, I'll add some other colors. But yeah, for the most part, I just need to add just a little bit of color, a little bit of definition. And that's one thing that I've been doing a lot is I have been doing my mascara first just to see how dark it is because sometimes I've noticed if I do like the shadow underneath and then I put on mascara, it's way too dark. So I've been much like appreciating like doing it that way. And then for lips, I did kind of use like a few. This was the bag that I packed. But honestly, like it will not be any surprise. Like my go-tos were Dose of Colors Truffle and then also dose of colors nude mood i would sometimes use like different colors in this like in this but for the most part it was just like the pinky nudes like i always wear for today just to switch it up i'm going to be using twig by mac it is a satin and honestly yes i would line my lips sometimes but other times i would just completely forget And then last step, I would always set my face with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I absolutely love this stuff and it kind of just allows for the powders on my face to kind of like settle and just look a little bit more like meshed with my skin. Not that any of it looks cakey, but it just makes it look a little bit more natural. So I'm just going to do a few sprays of this. The only thing that I really played up with like each day was my lip color. I kind of like rotated between a few, but all of them were like a beautiful nude color. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. That's the look that I did for my honeymoon. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I do post new videos every week. I am back now, so I will be in more of a routine. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.